what's up everybody blue gabe if you follow along you know yesterday i was in south georgia in a swamp catching catfish today we're in the bahamas y'all look at this it doesn't get any prettier we are on my 31 contender which looks like a bomb went off right now look at crystal beachy she looks like she's ready for winter time come on don't pick on me look at you oh i about fell why are you dressed so cold because the cold. sun's going down and it got chilly what about that bucket of fish right there yeah, me and Chelsea weared them out today. That's right. You guys, we got Miss Chelsea and Mr. Tom with blind date charters. We are here for the next three days. We're going to go fishing, spear fishing, deep dropping, mutton fishing, grouper fishing. We're just going fishing. And you guys are riding shotgun. So we actually got here about four hours ago, went out, did some deep dropping because we needed to catch dinner for tonight. I'm doing things a little bit different. We're starting off with some cooking. Then tomorrow morning, well, we might even cook breakfast in the morning then we're going out for an adventure we have no clue what we're getting into but i guarantee it's going to be fun crystal and i have been trying to get to the bahamas for like the last three months tom and chelsea got the chance to get away from their kids and their business he runs a full-time charter business in fort myers here we are one thing i absolutely love about the bahamas is the blue clear water sun's obviously getting ready to set so you can't see it as now but this canal is crystal clear Bet you there's some lobster in that tire. There you go. You can see how clear it is now. There's a little layer of silt on the surface. I'm not sure what it is, but blocking our view. There's a rock. I almost guarantee you there's lobster under that. So it is lobster season. It's stone crab season. We can shoot grouper and hogfish here, but we can't bring them home unless we flay them. And I think we're allowed 20 pounds of flays for the boat to go home. We can keep queen snapper, yellow eye snapper, pretty much all the snappers, just not grouper and hogfish. We can keep them, but we have to clean them. Are you going to shoot a black grouper if you see one? That is my goal right now, is to shoot a black grouper. I'm you just can't shoot mine that's in the box already. <laughs> we have so much food in this boat, it's absolutely insane. So we left our house in Stewart, Florida. We drove to Jupiter, Florida with the truck and the boat. Put the boat in in Jupiter, drove 67 miles over here. We had 310 gallons of fuel. We burnt 65 coming over, or 65 all day. We actually came over and then we fished for the last four hours. I haven't done a video like I'm gonna do right now in a while. I'm gonna show you everything. Look at the school of barracudas though. No, those are bonefish. Dude, that's a massive school of bonefish. I've never even seen that. That's like the most targeted trophy species over here in the Bahamas in the Keys and they're just swimming around our canal like a bunch of goldfish. There is nothing better though than turning the bend and seeing Boodle Bay. If you guys follow along once again, you've seen this place right here. This is our home away from home. Shut up. Chelsea, have you ever tied a boat up before? Never, this is my first time. <laughs> Captain Tom, you ever parked one this good? I watched a YouTube video once. <laughs> Y'all, he just parked this boat like a glove. I just want to show you what you can expect when you come to Boodle Bay. I mean, we haven't been here but about 20 seconds and they're already on the dock helping us tie up. That's service. We are super excited to be here right now. Gabe's already cleaning fish. Of course what I in got. the heck is this thing? A jellyfish? Yeah. You see those a lot in the Keys. You guys, these might not be the biggest fish we've ever caught, but guess what? They're going to be some of the best tasting ones we've ever ate. They're beautiful fish. We are starving. Look how this knife just cut through this fish like butter. Now, one thing I want to show you guys really quick. All right. That's a queen snapper. Everybody wants to catch a queen snapper. You see how like brown that meat looks <laughs> now this what i'm cleaning right here is a silky snapper really nobody wants to go after that look how much better that meat looks oh yeah you can see it already night and day <laughs> you guys we're here for three full days crystal and i never get to go anywhere for three full days with no plans we are going to have a blast for the next three days but i'm going to clean all these fish we got a bunch more in the boat and we're going to cook an amazing meal. I'm going to cook something for them and Crystal that I've never cooked before on this channel. You guys are going to get to tag along. You might not get to taste it, but you might be able to smell it. But before you go, folks, look at Crystal's trophy. This is a tall fish, believe it or not. 
It's like a tile fish. Let me just hold smaller. up my right hand. Oh my goodness. This thing is so tiny. Y'all, I'm about to whip up a meal fit for kings. This is some of the snapper that we caught. I just lightly browned it. I've got some butter in the bottom of this pan. I'm just layering the fish in. Onions, mushrooms. All of Crystal Beachy's favorite. Now we're gonna take some of this right here. Just give it a little shake. Pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put it on the top. These rooms here at Noodle Bay are so nice. We'll be able to cook breakfast and dinner in here. No eating out for us this trip. We're eating Blue Gabe's cooking. Let it bake for about 15 minutes. Just adding some cheese. The more the merrier. Gonna hit it with some of that mozzarella. Got some garlic bread to make. I guarantee you, not but 30 minutes after we eat this meal, we'll all be asleep. We got up this morning really early, didn't go to bed till real late last night loading the boat. And we've been in the sun all day. I'm gonna put this in. Now I'm gonna put it on broil for about two or three minutes, let it brown the top of this cheese. Oh, it's gonna be good. Y'all, we know the lighting's not perfect. We understand that, but we're in the Bahamas. Look at this right here, folks. Cheese, onions, fish, mushrooms, and tomato marinara. I mean, it don't get no better. But can you smell it? <laughs> Crystal said, but where's the pasta? I said, hey, I forgot one thing. Kill me. It looks beautiful. But I didn't forget the mashed potatoes. And one thing about Crystal, she's gonna want a bunch more of this sauce. Let me go ahead. Just slather it up. This is such an easy meal to make too. Look at that. Bon appetit. What about the, oh, the garlic bread's not done yet. But folks, we're gonna enjoy this amazing meal. We'll see y'all in the morning. Y'all check out how beautiful it is this morning. Not much wind, probably about eight miles an hour, dead out of the east. Primo. Now let me tell you a little bit of fun fact about myself. I absolutely hate cooking pancakes. I made breakfast this morning and I always burn pancakes. I don't know why, but somehow I didn't burn them this morning. Made some bacon, got some butter, got our captain up and ready. I mean, are you ready though? I'm getting there. I'm gonna eat them pancakes and I'll be ready. <laughs> what about you? I'm ready. Big Wahoo? Big Wahoo. Or Big Black Gerber? Both. We might not land him, but we got a big fish on this reel right here. We're Wahoo trolling. We left the hotel about an hour ago. One of the high speed wahoo trolled down to where we want to go spear fishing, and we got something big on. I'm glad I'm not hand cranking him, I can tell you that. So we have a big heavy weight, a 64 ounce weight, then 50 foot, a 200 pound test to a lure that's gnarly looking. If we get it back, I'll show it to you. It looks a little bit like that with cable on it. All right, here comes the weight. Here comes the weight already. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, he's foul hooked. Got it, got it, got it. Tuna. Oh, that was a hook. A little to the right. Go fast, go fast. So right there, the guy in that boat sold me this hey, boat and we didn't bring any lures. We had two lures, we didn't have a bunch, and he gave us a whole care package this morning. Hey, what up, teamwork? Hey, <laughs> Nux, Tom. <laughs> Babe. High five. All right, got shark. Right at the tail. Ah. All right, go right, babe. Or left, I mean, left. Yeah. Hey, instantly. He didn't take all of it, that's good. You got all this gear? Hit that button, hit that button. Hard left, hard left, hard left. Hard left. Perfect. Oh, 
Now we can go deep dropping. We've caught enough wahoo. You guys, the last thing in the world I want to do right now is get wet. I can assure you that, but somebody's got to do it. Let me get them sunglasses. Oh yeah, might need to take them off. Hmm. Is this the part you don't like, Crystal? Yeah, I can't get my big head to that. Oh. Y'all gonna have to cut the clip for the next part. I've got a new camera. I'm curious to see how it works. I haven't been in the water where I'm about to get into in a long, long, long time. Oh, it's kind of cool. away. Look at that. He's really pokey. You guys, I didn't like the temperature of that water. We just pulled into 150 foot and I dropped down two ballyhoo chunks on a circle hooks. I don't know what I have, but I dang sure got he something is good. Bent. The shark's fat here, so I'm fingers crossed can get it up. No. It's Hold big, on. whatever it is. Do you think we'll need the gaff? No. I can see it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. What in the heck is that, Something Gabe? Jack. I figured it was because it fought all the way. If it was a mutton snapper, it would have given up along the way. That's a big, heavy yeah, fish right there. Yeah, now we got some deep drop bait, though. Why do they call them a horse eye, babe? Because that eye looks like a horse. You got it. Uh-oh, <laughs> look up front. Uh-oh, hooked up on a vertical jig. Get it, Tom. This is your time to shine right here. I'm always shining. <laughs> Still got him? Yeah. Yeah, he's got him. Hopefully it's a different species. Feeling like a little grouper or something. Yeah. How much do you appreciate? Oh heck! Okay. Strawberry. That's a good size. I was just getting ready to ask, how much do you appreciate those frog dogs, babe? I love them. Thank you. Dang, that's a big strawberry. You guys, that's probably the best eating fish that swims right there. Good one. We were actually making a 20 mile run back to the south. We ran all the way down to White Sands, if you know anything about the Bahamas. Now we're running back towards memory. I saw something on my Seymour maps and said, heck, I better stop. And we just caught two fish. You already know Crystal wasn't going to let me outdo her. She's about to drop. What do you got? Two pieces of ballyhoo? Two pieces of ballyhoo. Let her rip, tater chip. Where's the button to make it go up automatically? We ain't got one of those. <laughs> Tom's up front dropping a vertical jig and Crystal's got her live bait. Not live bait, dead bait. My bad. I wanted to take it. Oh, oh. What? Oh, shoot. It came off. Something hit it on the way down. That was a big one, whatever it was. Holy oh, Chelsea, about to get in. Oh, yeah, that's a good one here. Crystal just lost something. She had a big one, too. Hopefully you still have bait. It ate it that far from the bottom? 
Yeah, he wrecked me. Look at another grouper. Swing him up here. Another one. Y'all, we're having some fried grouper fingers for dinner, for sure. But I want to see Beachy get wrecked again. Uh-oh. Beachy's on the board. Tom, she just beat yours. No I mean, a big old big What the heck? Good fish. I almost licked him. That's a now. great fish. Look how good job, Beachy. Yay! <laughs> One handed vertical jigging. <laughs> These little rods are made by Johnny Jigs. He makes the rods and the jigs, they flat out work. No bait needed. Not to be mistaken with no live bait needed, because those are a different type of jig. This is a little strawberry, Where'd I can tell. On? They just quit fighting as they're coming up. There's something big coming up after mine. I can see it. See the shark oh or something? Oh my gosh, look at that shark. Shark, baby shark, dee doo dee doo. That's another nice one. What that tells me is we need to move because that shark is right there right now. He's see him on the surface? Right there. I don't know if you can see him, but there's a shark. Time to move. Oh, oh yep, yeah. fish on already. Out of girl. Out of girl. Try to get it away from the sharks. Good job, good job. This feels like a big one. Yes, she <laughs> said this feels like a big one. Looks like you've done this before, Chelsea. Yeah, a couple times. See color already? What is it? What is it? Is it a grouper? Yeah, yeah. We got another grouper! Woohoo! More tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think we're beating the boys. I the think way. we are. Yeah. I think we are. Nice fish. Gosh, look at the colors on them strawberry groupers. Beautiful. Good I job. I love it. Bahamas grouper. What are y'all doing up here? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I'm in the suit and I'm just going to be in it the rest of my life, I reckon. It took two of us to get it on. <laughs> Alright, I know the screen's dirty, but we're going to try to get some conch real quick because Crystal and Chelsea's favorite thing in the world is conch salad. So, we're only going to get probably four or five. Hopefully we can find them. Then I don't know what we're going to get into. One thing's for sure, we're going to eat really well tonight. We got strawberry grouper and wahoo. Snapper, yellow eye snapper. I'm looking forward to it. Don't be judging my hairlines either, y'all. Tom's in the back cleaning the boat. Crystal just got ready and about to get in. See you on the other side, Crystal. First call. We right in there. Woo! She got two. <laughs> Good job. Two more to add to the pot. Good Woo! job. <laughs> Good job. That's, some live, that's some live fishing right there. Got it. Got it. All right. Oh, yeah, we got this one off. That is all the ceviche. We got it. Crystal and Gabe in the water, and Tom and I are up here catching more fish. <laughs> okay, 
Let me see. Ah, good ones. Sunset bite, look at that. Oh. Flip them in, swing them, swing them, swing them, swing them, swing them. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely did watch the sunrise this morning, but we're getting to see the sunset right now. We are coming from about 35 miles out of way. We've done everything you can think of. You already know that, you've watched it. But we have done a little bit more than what we've shown you. We've got a box full of fish and we're all starving. Crystal was doing amazing diving, diving super deep in a pretty strong current. Chelsea catching some ocean tallies. Hey, you put her on the meat, and your local captain here just take care of business like always. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show you the sunset because it is so beautiful. Where we live in Stewart, Florida is 67 miles that away. We've got about a 15 mile ride from where we're at right now back to the hotel and we'll see y'all there. We're starving and I'm going to cook something totally different for dinner tonight but it's going to be equally as good. Boy, let me tell y'all what. Some panko fried yellow eye snapper from yesterday. God, it smells good. So today's Tuesday. Tomorrow, the weather's supposed to pick up and get really, really, really windy. And then Thursday, lay out. So tomorrow, we're going to just stick around the hotel, just stay within two or three miles, do some spear fishing, do some deep dropping here, probably try to catch some yellowtail snapper, have us a blast. So this fish right here, all I do is season it, roll it in flour, then dip it in buttermilk, and then dip it in plain panko breadcrumbs it don't get no better folks i cannot tell you guys enough if you have a boat come here to boodle bay we're in west end 67 miles from stewart about 62 miles from jupiter i mean look our boat's right there we don't even have to take our rods off we've probably got ten thousand dollars worth of rods that we leave on that boat all night long I do take the LPs in just because they're $8,000 each and I want to keep the honest people honest, but the rest of the reels stay right on the boat. I mean, I, I wouldn't do that at any marina at home. So if you want to come to the Bahamas, Boodle Bay, they have an awesome restaurant right there. If you follow along, you've seen us eat there before. This trip, I just wanted to show you how we cook because you can do that here as well. They have a grill, they got awesome rooms. I mean, a pool, everything. You might just catch some deep dropping fish just like that. This is customer service at Look its finest. Look what we have here. At your service. From ocean to plate right there. Some hey, wasabi, look some beautiful. soy sauce. Babe, look at this. I'm telling you. Look at this. I might just put okay, Tom. Go ahead. I might just put Tom in my wheel. <sighs> that looks amazing. You guys, if you've never had fresh sashimi, it's nothing like what you can get at your local sushi restaurant. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is fresh caught wahe. Go for it. I think I will. You know, I almost. We're like, hoping for a 10 I out almost, of 10. I almost <laughs> gave her that piece, but I'm like, I love her and all. Go get I'm it. Going in. All right. mm -hmm. 
go right here. You guys, it don't get no better than that. No fresher. Oh, that is so good. Now, Tom, was it the fisherman or the driver? It was the lady luck. It was the, it mm. was the 200 pound shot feeder. <laughs> <laughs> If you come to Boodle Bay and you need somebody who can take you diving or fishing, Tristan's your man. If you don't know the area. Another thing him and I were talking about was the sharks here in the Bahamas. Bahamas doesn't have a shark season and the sharks are so thick it's insane. They're starting to bite tourists every now and then. So we need to get a shark season here in the Bahamas. And we need to start eating sharks in America too. They're some of the best eating fish. Look, Crystal's shaking her head. They're some of the best eating fish that swim, but they need to be controlled. There's no, like, nobody's getting them because it's like, oh, they're shark finning. No, they're not shark finning anymore. We need to eat sharks. So all of us can go snorkeling and be safe. Cause that's what Tristan does for a living. That's right. And again, sharks are very good to eat, but so is all this fish. So y'all enjoy it. Even our Canadian friends, I know Crystal's starving. Look, Chelsea, she's like, yeah, yep, I'm digging I'm ready. it. I'm already got Tom, the plates going. Great day. We'll see y'all in the morning because we're going to go swim with the sharks. And if one jacks with me, he might just end up in that fryer tomorrow too. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, we got grouper to clean. We got wahoo to clean. Tristan's got the comp to clean. Show us how you clean one real quick. If you guys follow along, this is the one thing that whoops me. This and cooking pancakes. You have to hit that sweet spot. Yep, it's right on the, we call it the spine. And then we take the knife and we juke it. Push it straight down the spine. And then we just pull. Look See how that? easy that is. That's stupid. <laughs> I try to do that so much, it's insane. Oh, really? Oh, man, he just ate the pistol. I think Tom needs a pistol this morning. He don't have enough kids. All right. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to kiss him later. You want one? No, I'm They good. work for women, too. I'm good, I'm good. Give her three. Never will you work harder for some more tasteless meat than conch, but the girls love it. I actually like it in a conch salad, so it was worth it. Reason being, look who's in here cooking our breakfast Good this morning. morning. Got some pancakes, some bacon. I just uploaded some footage. Man, that looks good. She informed me though that I got maple bacon. Babe. I like maple ba bacon, but I know you don't. I don't know how I got it, but <laughs> I did. You ready for the day's journey i was born ready she, oh man she was born ready you guys ready to see the calm before the storm it's blowing a steady probably 25 to 30 straight out of the southeast we're about to step out into it we were just protected in that little harbor luckily i think we can go around the back side of the island Thank God we don't have to go home today. And fingers crossed the weathermen are right tomorrow. They're never right, but hopefully they're right tomorrow because we're counting on going home and that's a long 67 mile run when it's rough. There's calm everywhere. I didn't see any the last time I was here.
That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Dude, that's like a four pounder. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. We're gonna put him in the live well alive for a little bit till we get a good picture. Here, Tom. I think it's huge. Great job, guys. Ooh. Holy, watch it, baby. I'll get you. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. folks at home. girls wanted some ceviche that's what they're gonna get if you wonder what we were gonna do with that conch here it is you gotta just take four or five six limes about how many ever you need to get the correct amount of juice you want them to be not swimming in juice but covered in juice if that makes any sense I'd normally do it by hand but several of those stone crabs bit me and that's not gonna feel good So the coolest thing about ceviche, you can put whatever you want in it. You can make it spicy, you can make it sweet, you can put fruit, you can put peppers only, onions, whatever you want. Make it how you like it, you won't regret it. You can put shrimp, lobster, fish, anything. I wouldn't do chicken, but seafood, for sure. That boat right there looks as pretty as it's ever looked sitting there anchored up right off this little beach it does not get any prettier than this folks at home look at the difference between polarization i just put my glasses on it no glasses glasses no glasses that's why when you're fishing, you need a good pair of glasses with polarization. You can see so much better. Listen, folks, I just did a commercial stone crabbing video. We didn't catch any this big. That's big. This is absolutely huge. But this dude right here, whoa, hand caught. I did not use a net. I caught him with my bare hands out of a rock. Oh my goodness. He would he would literally break your fingers or your or your hand if he got you. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely mind-blowingly big. I cannot wait to eat some of these guys. Now we didn't catch nearly all that we saw and we only did it in a very little spot. We were selective on the ones that we did catch and we turned some loose. But we are gonna eat some of these guys right here. Doesn't get no better. But that's gonna be tonight. Right now, I brought him up here to get a thumbnail with him. Look at that. We're gonna go mow down on some ceviche that's gonna be probably equally as good. I'm scared of this guy getting away. I mean, that could potentially be a world record size ah, stone crab. That's huge, look at that. Have you ever seen one that big, Crystal? I have not, I think it's huge. <laughs> Stupid. That's the one that could really, really hurt you though. See how there's no gap, but there's a gap? Like my finger could survive in there possibly. It would not survive in that one. 
you've ever had conch ceviche, it does not get any fresher than this. These bad boys were swimming a couple hours ago. Here, girls. You don't want Tostitos or which flavor? You don't have to tell us twice. We'll share this. We're going to put hot sauce in ours. For real? Yeah. A little bit. The smell coming off of a good fresh ceviche is undescribably good. As soon as we pulled into West End, we got up and got some conch salad from Harry's little conch salad stand. Um, How spicy is that? This is just as good. Oh, it was, it was I heard weird. you had a pepper put in there. I said... Sliver. He asked how much I wanted, and he cut two little slices of this yellow pepper this big and put it in there. I was like, that's never going to be hot enough. It lit me <laughs> up. It was so hot. All right, we're going to sit here and enjoy each other's company. We'll see y'all back at the hotel where we're going to boil some stone crab and make some, I think, grilled fish sandwiches tonight. That's what I want. A strawberry grouper grilled fish sandwich for dinner with a side of jumbo stone crab. I'm gonna lie, I'd already messed with him and he almost got me. I just didn't have a good breeze up and I was like, I can't see him and I don't want to wake my time. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get wrecked. Papa? Yeah. Miss Linda, have you ever seen a prettier table? No. I mean, I'm not sitting there yet, so it ain't as pretty as it could be, but no. it's close. Yes. Jalapeno poppers, wahoo sashimi with some sides, a salad, rice, Vegetables, oh my goodness. Blackened grouper, fried grouper. Does it get any better? It oh. does not. Stone crab. Oh, stone it's crab coming crab though. It's coming up. It's coming. Oh, yeah, it, does, it can get better with oh. stone crab. <laughs> we have like a five course meal. And probably, if you ate what we're about to eat at a restaurant, it would be a couple thousand dollars. For sure. Let's do it. <laughs> so let's do it. Are you ready to eat? Let's find out. <laughs> Put that go. camera away, let's go. Go to town, son, go to town. <laughs> so if you come to Boodle Bay, whatever you catch, they'll cook. And if you happen to not catch anything or you're not fishing and you're just on vacation, they have all the fresh fish you could eat as well. And Miss Linda will serve it to you, won't you? I will. What's your son's name? Oh, Coffee, howdy. Tell, give him a shout out. Okay. Where have you been? <laughs> Sleeping? No, get my head in. Oh, he got his hair did. Tristan had to get his hair did. Folks, this meal, like if I had one last meal, it would be this, a little bit of everything. Look right here, folks at home. Now it's complete. Yes. Now it's complete, babe. Look at- Oh, those are hot. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> Look, it's as big as a dinner plate, folks. Goodness. I mean this with no sarcasm. If you went to any restaurant in Florida and ordered that, it would be $100 for that claw. No joke. How about the strawberry grouper dough? Oh my goodness. It's perfect. It's spicy. I huh. love it. Mm. Those jalapeno poppers that I made, they got crab dip in them. You, you, oh, you're about to dig into some grouper, huh? Yeah, this looks good. Mm. So quickly, good. We quickly forgot about the salad. So, yeah. yeah, we did. Ain't nobody we got did. time for a salad. <laughs> She's bringing the butter. Oh, yeah. Just wow. bring me the whole bowl of butter. I'm about to eat it like cereal. Thank you. <laughs> ah, you need Holy it. Cow. You have more. We got more. I Listen. That's a lot of butter. Water. More butter, more butter. When you risk your... <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Perfect. When you risk your yeah, arms, I'm going to use this for the shells. Okay. When you risk your hands to catch crabs this big, you need a lot of butter. Them jalapeno poppers. 
are fire. So the trick with my jalapeno poppers, the grocery store that we shop at, which is called Publix, they have a really good blue crab dip. It has, it's full of cream cheese. Cut your jalapenos, get all the seeds out, pack it full of that crab dip, wrap it in bacon and bake it. Something serious, folks. Probably the best meal I've ever had. I mean, you can't get a better meal than this. Look, here, right here, y'all, there's the owner of Boodle Bay. Tell them they should come visit. All the time. Y'all, he's a man of few words, but he owns this hotel, him and his wife, and it's as nice as a hotel yeah. as you can get in mm -hmm. West End, Bahama. Oh, dang. Mm -hmm. Woo. Dang. Was it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Oh at, my lord. Look at that. I mean, never have I ever seen a crab so big that you could just take the meat with a butter knife. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so Falling good. off in chunks though. Listen, y'all know I love Crystal to death. Y'all know I do. But I literally noodled the world's biggest stone crab today. <laughs> Just oil dripping down my face. Just take a moment. Dang. I mean. You can't even talk. I mean. I wish I took your words away like that. I mean, that was literally the best thing I've ever tried. That's <laughs> <laughs> it right there, folks at home. <laughs> Mm. Just savor in it. Come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, that is the knuckle out of that big claw. Just the knuckle. Look at that. That's a 10 out of a 10. <laughs> For sure. <clears throat> Babe, I'm coming in with the world's best bite. See if you can fit it all. Tomato, avocado, and fresh wahoo. <laughs> what is it? I mean, it's a 10 out of 10. All of this is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I want to eat this every night. You guys, yes. wh what we realized was four of us shared this one claw. So I'm definitely going to bring my dad. My dad's favorite food is crab. And my dad is the only reason that I own that boat out there. The only reason I have the worth ethics. Is that, did I say it right? Worth ethics. Worth ethics. Ethics that I do. I mean, if it wasn't for my mom and my dad, probably wouldn't have nothing because they instilled working hard as I was a young kid. And that's why I've been successful. And that's why I've got where I'm at on YouTube. And that's how today when those crabs started biting me, I said, nope, if my dad was here, he'd say, get your butt back in there and keep going. So dad, we love you and thank you very much for teaching us to be men. What'd you say a minute ago? If, if we swim by a hole, you're gonna what? <laughs> I said, any hole I see on the sea floor now, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> come stick your hand in it. Let's <laughs> see if there's a crab in it. So I also have to tell my mom, or you guys about my mom. My mom was the reason me, Aubrey and Robert pushed as hard as we did because when my dad would be off, he normally didn't take all three of us because Aubrey's so much older than me and Robert's even four years older than me. My mom would take me. And boy, she wasn't no slouch neither. She pushed us to be men and that's how you need to do with your kids. Don't let them be sissies because if you raise them to be men, they'll stick their hand in a hole with that jugger right there and come out with him. So I actually love both of you, mom and dad. I'm bringing y'all home some crab. Right now though, I want you guys to check out Boodle Bay in West End Grand Bahama. You can fly here and come stay at Boodle Bay and eat this kind of food too. He's got commercial fishermen that will go out and catch it and cook it for you just like this. Come here, the rooms are fantastic, their food is fantastic. Everything is good here. So good. Thank you very much, you two, for coming. Love y'all both. We had a great trio. Love you too, babe. Love ya. Sad it's gotta end. Mm -hmm. We are sad it's gotta end, folks. But we got kids, as Chelsea would say. <laughs> we have kids. I can't. I have kids. <laughs> Chelsea's motto is that she can't swim with the sharks because she has kids. But that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. Get the heck out of shape. Thanks. Just in case y'all didn't think I was going to bring my dad some crab.
Ooh, that's hot though. Ooh, that's hot. Dad, this ain't even close to the big one. Not big even enough. close. Big enough. Now with stone crab, if you're eating them and it has this white stuff, just take it off. That's the fat. It's real rich. That'd be good for the garden. Now, Dad, when we were young, when we were kids, if we stuck our hand in that hole and the crab would bite us, would you like baby us and hug on us? And nope. What would you tell us? Get over it. <laughs> Y'all just get over it. We'll catch you in the next one.